Hey, James G here with Tarpley Music in Fort Worth, Texas. But remember, if you need to, you can always find us online at tarpleymusic.com. So we've talked in the past about really good entry level, not cheap, but inexpensive guitars. And we've talked about the Yamaha series. Well, like we said before, you can get a really nice guitar without spending a whole ton of money. And I think Yamaha does really well at doing that, where they're making basically a nicer student model guitar. This is the FS830 DSR, so the FS is for folk small body, which they refer to as a concert. But this is a beautiful guitar, it sounds really good, it's amazing, and it's under 400 bucks. So it's a really, really killer deal here. So uh, it still has uh, like scalloped X bracing for the top, and it is a spruce top, it's just this really gorgeous color here. This is the, uh, the, the DSR is the color for this. Um, and then you've got rosewood, back and sides, and uh, you've got a NATO neck, which they're actually using a lot of the NATO in this stuff, and it really feels really good. This neck uh, itself is good for small hands, so you still have more of a beginner style hand, but you're getting a little bit more of an intermediate sound out of it. Uh, and the radius of the neck, which is the curvature of the fretboard is 15.75, which is very, very common for acoustics. You've got 20 frets here. The scale length, which is the measurement from the nut to the uh, bridge, is 25. So uh, about half an inch shorter than some of your regular dreadnoughts are usually at 25.5. Uh, so it's just kind of a smaller body uh, in the sense of even thinness this way. So it's really, really comfortable. And I'll have a lot of uh, you know, st younger students and even female students that really prefer this body style because it's so comfortable to play. But I still think you get a really good uh, full sound out of it. The bridge itself is still rosewood. And then uh, the nut and the, the saddle here are uh, urea, which is a product that Yamaha uses a lot. It's a really good hard plastic that uh, holds very well. It's actually easy to shape for people who are, do work on guitars and stuff as well. So like I said, you know, you're getting a really good so now the one thing is that there's no electronics in this, um, which is good because it can also keep the price down, right? But this is just a really good, fantastic guitar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mic it a couple of different ways, try to give you the uh, best representation of what this guitar sounds like uh, on its own. And uh, even at the beginning of this when I was playing, that is just our overhead mic picking up this guitar. So there's a lot of good volume on this on a very small, uh, comfortable guitar to play. So we're gonna mic it up a few ways and then of course we're gonna play it in a mix later on.
Alright, so we've heard the guitar mic'd up on its own. Let's hear what it sounds like in a mix with some other tracks I did earlier. Hit it, boys! All right, so I've got a lot of takeaways with this particular guitar, and I'm really a big fan of doing these kinds of reviews because it's really a price point that most people can afford. Um, it's really cool to play two or three thousand dollar guitars, but let's be honest, how many of those people really? Are playing? I can't. I don't. <laughs> so I really love uh, what Yamaha does with this stuff. So, um, and this color is just really popping. I think it's a really great fade. It's got like the vintage fade vibe, but it's red as opposed to natural. So it's really pretty. But as far as just playing, this thing is so comfortable. So even for pro players, I this is a this is a sitting in the corner of the room writing on guitar because it feels really good. It's just a touch smaller. It's got, still got a really good sound. I mean, this is just the shotgun right now, and I can strum. <laughs> I mean, so then that I'm not no tricks, right? That's just the same mic that's getting my voice, and still got a really good, good sounds to it. It's really crisp. It's really, really comfortable to play. Um, so if you're maybe you just started or you're wanting to upgrade the guitar that you have, this is a model I'd really, really look into, especially if you like smaller uh, body guitars. Like I said, Yamaha, you can go up a hundred or 150 bucks, and you're really getting a lot more guitar as opposed to just maybe some prettiness. And that's kind of why I really like that stuff at their, their price point. I mean, you can get thousand dollar Yamahas, right? You know, um, but this is really a price point I think people can afford, but I would love to have, this would, to me, would be a writing guitar, uh, just because it, you can pick it up and it plays really nice. And, but it's just, I mean, if the dog breaks it, right, you're not out of, I mean, it's, it's just, I don't know. I, I was really blown away with it. And I, I didn't really get to play with it much until today. Um, and it's, it's Rosewood. It sounds fantastic. It looks fantastic. So um, I can't explain how great this plays because I'm the one playing it. So it's really hard to put that into words. And not every guitar, even really nice guitars, are going to be really comfortable for me because I have my own playing style and my hands are kind of small and things like that. But for the majority of people, especially if they're learning, this is probably going to feel really comfortable. So uh, come on up to Tarpley and check out this guitar if you're looking to upgrade maybe your acoustic just a little bit. I think this is a really good place. Worst case, it's a good place to start. Uh, so you can be like, oh, I do like this, but maybe I do want a little big body or no, this is perfect. Uh, then you'll find out. So hope you got some interest in this. I hope you love listening to this guitar. I was really impressed with it. Had a really good time. And of course, hit like if you did. Uh, we like to know if you liked it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, you need to. You can just tap that button right there and subscribe. And if you'd like to know as we drop more videos, because we are dropping videos all the time, every single week. You can just turn on notifications, and then we'll see you on the next one.